Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we're dabbling with something that I like to call alchemy, where you turn one metal into another metal. Really, we're just going to do science. We're going to take a copper penny, we're going to turn it silver, and then we're going to turn it gold. Let's take a look. So we have prepared our pennies by putting them in a vinegar solution, which takes off any of the oils and strange things that accumulate in your pockets and billfolds and purses. Also makes them nice and shiny. So we've got those pennies. I'm going to dry them off and I'm not going to touch them with my fingers. That way I don't get any of the oils that are naturally on our skin in there to mess up the chemical reaction that we're about to witness. Okay, so I've got my five pennies. On my heating plate, I have 100 milliliters of water, and I'm going to add some zinc sulfide. It's about 30 grams of that, and it's slightly warm, so that should help it dissolve a little bit easier. And I'm gonna use my tweezers to stir it up just a little bit. And we'll know that it's ready for the pennies to go in when it starts to turn clear again. That's when we'll know that it has dissolved into the water completely. Okay, so once that's dissolved, now I'm going to add in my second sort of alchemical ingredient, and it's called mossy zinc. It looks kind of like little silver pebbles. And we want that to sit on the bottom, because it's a little bit heavier. And basically, we're going to lay the pennies on top of that mossy zinc in the zinc sulfide solution. And what's going to happen to turn our pennies silver is that trace amounts of that zinc are going to dissolve into the surface of the penny, basically. The zinc is what's going to sort of bond with the penny to make it look silver. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this be on a low boil for a little over 10 minutes. And then we should take them out and we should see a definite change. So I've got three pennies in there and I'll keep a couple of these copper ones so we can compare the two colors and see how much of a difference we get. All right, we're gonna check in about after five minutes. They still look pretty coppery in there, maybe a little bit browner than when we first started. All right, we're checking again closer to the 10 minutes. About seven minutes in, still looking a little, a little coppery. That one in the back left looks like it's starting to get some silver on it though. Things are bubbling away as we near the end of our 10 minute mark. And we're gonna just pull those right out of our zinky mixture. That one's looking pretty silver, that's good. All right, I'm gonna lay them on the cloth so you guys can get a good look. And we can see if the zinc has dissolved into the surface of that penny. And these are looking pretty good. If somebody asked me, I would definitely say that those pennies are silver in color, even though now we know that it's actually zinc that's on there. Very cool. A little bit of copper still left on that last one. We could have left it in for a couple more minutes and it probably would have gotten a little more silver like the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna take that beaker off of our hot plate, turn up the heat just a little bit, and lay the penny on there. And what we should be able to see right before our very eyes is that when the zinc gets heated, the copper and zinc will react together, lightening that copper and basically turning it sort of a golden color. There it starts to go. So this isn't actually creating gold. Actually what it's creating is a brass alloy, but you can definitely see that this sort of gold color, way different than the silver and way different than the copper. So the two chemical reactions that have undergone definitely make it look like we are changing things from one metal to another metal, which is pretty cool. Nice and bright, shiny, golden. <laughs> Thanks.
thank you for following along. I hope that was as interesting to see as it was for me. Thanks for following along. I hope you guys found that as interesting as I did. Don't forget, little reminder, we are still in full summer reading swing around here, and it's never too late to get started. So although we are coming to the end of our first 25 days for reading logs, you can still come in and pick up one and join in on the second 25 days of reading. So check our website or stop up at our children's desk if you are interested. Hope you guys are having a great week, great summer, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.